This is Marie from Underground Crafter, and today I'm sharing with you a review of my Baby Lock Jubilant sewing machine. I've been using this sewing machine for three and a half years. I also did an unboxing three and a half years ago, which you can see on my channel. I'll put a link. But in today's review, I'm going to go way more in depth on the features and all the stuff that you need to know to decide whether if this is the machine for you. I'm going to mention right up front that I'm a Baby Lock brand ambassador and I received this sewing machine for free. However, I do also want to share that I've been using Baby Lock machines pretty much exclusively since 2005. I love them. And uh, that is about 13 years before I became a Baby Lock ambassador. So I'm definitely sharing my true opinions in this video. And this video itself is not sponsored by Baby Lock, even though they did provide me with the machine three and a half years ago. So are you ready? Let's dive in. Okay, I'm starting with the machine with one of the optional accessories, which I really like. This is an extension table. And for those of you that like to do quilts or larger projects, this helps you add to the machine's um, sewing area. And the reason why that's helpful is because this really is a portable machine, which is one of the things that I love about it. Um, but kind of one of the downsides of having a portable machine is you don't necessarily always have the largest sewing area. So this particular extension, it's 16 inches across and it has uh, the measurements in inches, which is great, and in centimeters. So you can actually kind of see how far away from the needle your project is as well. So I'm gonna remove this. And as I said, that's an optional accessory and everything else that I show you is something that comes with the machine, but I did wanna share that. So first off, I love that this has a free arm. And for those of you that do garment sewing, bag sewing, uh, any kind of other project where you need to sew in a tube, a free arm is really an, an essential feature. And so this machine has a free arm. And when the free arm isn't in use, you go ahead and you attach this little storage case. And inside the storage case are a couple things I wanna share. So first off, I love that this machine comes with so many feet. Right now I have the zigzag foot, uh, which is installed on it. And this is also a leveling foot. If you're not familiar with that, there's a little button to the left of the presser foot. And what basically happens if you have some thick project that you're working on, a thick, um, thick fabric, multiple layers of fabric, uh, you're using denim, you know, anything that's kind of thick, you click on this little lever and it basically makes your foot uh, kind of climb over the stitches, um, but your needle will still go through all the layers, which is great. And then you can kind of click it off when you're done. And that's something that I really like about this machine that that's kind of the standard foot. Um, and it's, it's also a zigzag foot. Some of the other feet that this comes with, there is a buttonhole foot and kind of related to that there is a foot for attaching the buttons there is a monogramming foot truthfully I've never used that one so I don't have much to say about it there is a blind stitch foot that comes with it as well there is an overcasting foot for doing overcasting stitches and I have used this one quite a few times and there is a zipper foot uh, so all together, what was that? That's two, four, seven feet that it comes with. So that's pretty good. Um, and you know, it's covering a lot of the basics. Of course you can get more feet, you know, you can always get more optional things. So that's never a problem. Uh, and one of the things I like about the feet on this machine is that they're super easy to um, remove. Uh, it's really just pulling up the lever and there's a little button towards the back. The foot comes right off and then you can you know, change it to another one. I'm gonna keep this on because I'm actually gonna sew in a little bit uh, and then put the lever down. So that's pretty straightforward. And a lot about this machine is really straightforward, which is what I love. So another aspect that I like is threading it and winding a bobbin is super easy. If you've had baby lock machines before, you probably know this already, but they have really clear diagrams explaining how to uh, thread the bobbin winder, which is very straightforward, how to thread the machine itself, which is also pretty straightforward. And then that will lead you into the side here uh, where you'll find um, the automatic needle threader, which is great. And there's a little thread cutter 
here as well. So those are some of the features I really like. Probably the main thing about this machine is that it's super portable. So first off, it's pretty small okay um, and that's great because I live in a one-bedroom apartment and as you can probably see I just have it set up on a table in my bedroom and it's you know without the extension table it barely takes up any room even with the extension table it doesn't take up that much room it's super lightweight it has a handle that makes it easy to carry um, and it weighs under 15 pounds which is great and this is my favorite thing that really makes it portable. You don't have to use the foot pedal. So obviously it comes with a foot pedal, um, but what I much prefer to, prefer to use is this start stop button, and that makes it even more portable. So if I'm taking this somewhere to class, I don't have to add the pedal into the bag and that saves me you know whatever that is a couple of ounces that I could add some more thread or more fabric and not have to worry about the weight um, and I don't mean that the weight is too heavy for the bag I mean that the weight is too heavy for me because I live in New York City and I'm usually carrying uh, if I'm carrying this it's on the subway or the bus or something so I don't want to be dragging it so much so that's a great thing the start stop button this is a fabulous thing I love as well. This little button with the circle in it is basically a reinforcement stitch. So I don't have to bother with, you know, stitching a few stitches forward, reversing and stitching a few stitches back. I can just press this reinforcement stitch at the start and end of my project and bam, it's reinforced for me, which I, I love that too. I have a needle up down button, which is great. And then there's three speeds here. This is especially important when I'm using the start stop button because you know, I'm not controlling it as much as I might be controlling a foot pedal. So that's all cool stuff. Uh, and then there are 80 something stitches, which is great. Uh, and that includes a whole bunch of buttonhole stitches, decorative stitches, um, you know, regular utility stitches. And with each stitch, what I love in this, um, this little display here is when you turn to the stitch you want, you probably can't quite see that, but it will tell you the recommended foot. So, uh, for example, this number 11, which is uh, this stitch here is going to require the G foot. So that would kind of remind me, oh man, I have to change my foot uh, so that it doesn't damage the needles or anything when I'm trying to sew. There's also a little button up here for if you're using a twin needle, which is great. And then you can adjust the stitch length and the stitch width on, on many of the stitches using these two buttons here. So that's super easy and um, it's just really straightforward. And I love that there's an image of each stitch here so I can kind of remember what they look like. There's also a piece that clips on top with an image of each stitch, which I have somewhere in the bag, so I can't show it to you right now. Okay, so I have right here a piece of fabric on uh, some stabilizer, and I'm just gonna show a couple of stitches just so you can hear kind of how loud the machine is. So I'm gonna start on the lowest speed, which of course will be the quietest, and then I'll turn it up a little bit as we go along. So I just picked a, a stitch at random, it's number 30 on the Jubilant, and it uses the same presser foot that I already have attached, so I don't have to change anything right now, and I'm just gonna hit the start stop button. Okay, and you can hear that it's pretty quiet, but most machines are pretty quiet when they're on slow. So what happens when I turn it up? So even with the speed on all the way up, it's still pretty quiet. Um, I live in an apartment, I've never had any complaints about it, and when I've gone to classes, I've never had any issues with it either. So I'm just going to hit the start stop, uh, and I'm going to turn down the speed for a moment, because I'm not usually flying that fast. And then I'm just going to raise the needle, uh, pull up the presser foot, and cut off the thread here. Um, so you can see that uh, that particular stitch came out really evenly. Um, of course, it's crooked because I was looking at you instead of actually guiding it through the machine. But uh, I mean, it's at an angle, not that the stitches are crooked. They're actually really even. So it has a lot of decorative stitches, like I mentioned, a bunch of different buttonholes. I actually have a tutorial on um, my blog that I'll link where I made um, 
I did a group activity with students at the college where I teach where uh, we did we use kind of different stitches with a piece of fabric stabilized and made embroidery hoops uh, hoop art that you could use as an ornament so anyway I love that it has a lot of different stitches I love that it's not too loud especially for you know a smaller portable machine that's also something that I like so a couple other things I like about the machine as I said the size and the weight the amount of features compared to the price of the machine is great and then that it has you know the free arm it has a little storage case um, the storage case is pretty cool for traveling too because obviously you know the less you have to carry and you know put in a bag and everything when you're traveling with a machine is great um, in addition to all those presser feet that I showed earlier it also comes with a tiny seam ripper which I always seem to need uh, and this little kind of uh, oh wait well now I don't remember which one came with this machine and which is from my older baby lock machine but this one does come with a seam ripper but I also had one from my other machine and then uh, there's also a little bag of tools which is super helpful I'm gonna pull those out so on the top uh, there's different sizes for the cap for the top thread and then there's some tools uh, some screwdrivers and other tools that are helpful and a little set of needles as well um, and all of that kind of fits inside the machine, which is great. So as we come to the end of the review, I just want to share a couple of things. So this machine, although I love it, it's not necessarily for every single sewist. So first of all, as I've mentioned a couple times, it's portable and it's a smaller machine. So if this was going to be your only sewing machine and you liked to machine quilt, queen size quilts, it's probably not ideal for you because the sort of creative area is relatively small. But if you're doing smaller projects, let's say a throw, um, garments and things like that, I think it's great. It's super easy for traveling. As I've mentioned, I've carried this thing to so many places. I have not treated it always so well, like just, you know, lifting it around on the subway, going on the bus, and it's always been fine when I get to the location. As I said, I love that I don't have to use the um, foot controller I mean that's great for people that love to do that but I don't uh, and I have cats so sometimes you know they're crawling underneath and I have to worry about their tail getting stomped on so I really prefer the start stop button the reinforcement stitch is great um, it has a really good range of decorative stitches which I like and one of my favorite stitches on here is a hand quilting stitch and I love using that when I machine quilt because it really does kind of look like you did it by hand which is great um, it comes with a lot of presser feet, which is also cool. Uh, I would say the downside, like I said, is mostly if this is going to be your only machine and you're planning on making larger quilts, I think it's going to be a tough machine to do that with. But if it's your secondary machine for quilters, if you're this is your class machine or your piecing stuff machine, then I think it's a great machine. And as I said, it, it's really endured all that I've put it up to carrying it all over the place setting it up in a lot of different locations um, and you know sewing on it pretty hard so I think it's probably a machine you might love as a smaller machine that fits into your crowded home like mine as a portable machine if you like to go to classes or do sewing circles or things like that um, or as a second machine if you have a larger sewing machine I do want to add though if you're a beginning sewist and you're not sure what kind of sewing you're ultimately going to do you know are you going to be a quilter are you going to be a bag maker are you going to be a garment maker I think it's a great machine uh just to experiment on because it can it can do all those things you know it's like it can quilt a quilt it's just going to be a pain it's not to put a full queen size quilt in here but if you're doing a throw or a you know a full size a double right that'll be fine if you're working with bags you know they do have an array of additional feet that you can get to work with vinyl and leather uh, different different presser feet and like I said switching them out is really easy and there's a lot of different feet available for this machine so personally I've used the walking foot the Teflon foot a couple of different quilting feet and they've all you know just been easy to put on and take off and um, yeah so I really love it and I think you might too uh, and so I thought you might want to see this 
video to get a better sense of whether this is the machine for you. So if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. I'm happy to answer. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day.